and already a divine and sacred frequency has been established. The very air you breathe is rarefied. The very breath, the in and the out, comes into a perfect rhythm, that of the sacred earth, that indeed of the solar system and uh, the galactic mother, the Hum Nam Ku, and the many, 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 many streams of consciousness that use the sacred in-breath and out-breath as the reminder that indeed they breathe the breath of God, the breath of creation, the breath of all that is, the breath of oneness. So our sacred breath settles into its perfect, perfect rhythm. And indeed, there is the great outbreath of creation and the inbreath of creation. The perfect rhythm and cycle of which, beloveds, you are part of. And we say to you, beloveds, that yes, your experience into a physical material world, indeed, your Earth Mother, the sacred Gaia. She's into this rhythm as well as all things are. That in this highest frequency of all possibilities is indeed the perfect rhythm and the cycles of that rhythm. And as we become aware, we more align ourselves with this higher celestial, magnificent ascended rhythm, the divine rhythm, the godly rhythm, the highest rhythm. And so we understand it each and every sacred in breath and out breath aligns us to this holy rhythm. Indeed, the cosmic outbreath and inbreath of the divine. We allow ourselves to come into the higher resonant field of this awareness. For simply, it is the simpleness of awareness that brings you into alignment. Just by the very intention, beloveds, you are in your path of mastery. And so, whereas before there was much to prepare and much to do to move forward in frequency, it is now in this eternal now we say to you, it does not take much. Truly, indeed, it is your highest aspirations and your heart's dreaming that brings you to that point of unfoldment, awareness, and manifestations. Indeed, beloveds, it is your heart's dreaming that pulls you forward on your path of mastery. And it is indeed your heart's dreaming that allows you to move forward in the understanding and awareness of those pitfalls or challenges as you perceive they might be, but never to hinder your progress, only to enhance your progress. All things as they are and should be and will be. Because, beloveds, the ultimate destination is the divine in-breath of all souls. The journey of free will is upon you, and therefore we say to you, there is a choice in this great in-breath that pulls you. 
in that great in-breath has multiple, multiple, indeed infinite ways of reaching the same destination. And it is for each one individually as well as collectively to find that unique path to you. Your individual journey contributes to the collective journey for all is one, all is connected. All stories are the same. And so as you move forward, beloved, you become aware Oh, the children of light upon the earth, the children of light who have not forgotten, open up to the multitude of the family of light of which they are a part. From the sacred ancestors that have come before you, indeed yourself that has come from the past to the present, indeed yourself, so the future that have come to the present. Indeed, the higher layers of yourselves. Indeed, the higher self connected to the multitude in a myriad of divine beings, all mirrors reflections of each other. And so no matter your personal journey, the destination remains the same. And as you look at the multitudes, of divine souls and all those walking in mastery, helping and supporting in many tiers, in many creations, in many levels, in many realms, and many expressions of the one true divine creation of all creations. You are part of this cosmic harmonic of great wonderment and joy and bliss. For indeed, that is your heart's dreaming. And so, beloveds, as many gather here, circling, supporting, creating the higher platform for the higher vision of the beautiful, the magnificent, Gaia, your earth mother, specific for you to be with her at this time in the density you find yourself, part of a great and grand divine plan, a strategic placement, beloveds, that you find yourselves in, and from your birth and indeed before your birth, the understanding of an ongoing heart's dreaming that pulls you lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. We may say for you, beloveds, that for so many has come to a crossroads, in fact, a cosmic crossroads of a big quantum. And so there is much activities, beloved, much activity in the streams of consciousness of which you were a part, of great curiosity and indeed amazement, astonishment, and deep respect for the consciousness of the awakened and the awakening ones that have taken physical form onto the physical body in that density. We behold and see the magnificence of your soul and who you are as magnificent beings and the history that you hold and the future that you hold. But we understand with great respect and indeed admiration that the choice to come into a physical density where the veil of forgetfulness is thick. Indeed, not all sign up for this, but you did. And so there is the unending support, the unending support for each and every one as they choose to walk their path of their heart's dreaming. And their heart's dreaming is so many layers, but ultimately it is their dharma. 
It is what they've come to do to serve because they hold the highest frequency in the cosmos, the frequency of unconditional love and the compassionate heart. Indeed, a requirement, a prerequisite for the path of mastery. It is indeed a compassionate heart, the higher heart of compassion and unconditional love that is the journey in the great cosmic in-breath. So beloveds, we are with you here now and know we always are and always will be the greater family of light, the Amishadai. The myriads of the one of which you are a part, of the endless eternal expressions of creation and co-creations, endless and boundless. And as you can sense with each and every in-breath and out-breath, the magnitude of what this is and what you are part of and your blessed intricacy and most important role in it. With each and every holy sacred in-breath, you feel the frequency of this expanded awareness and this familiarity, beloveds. Familiarity of energy, energy that courses in and through you now as you choose to become aware of the subtleness, not as subtle as in the past, but more profound, more noticeable, because indeed, beloveds, your frequency continues to move towards your ultimate heart streaming that is way, way beyond the gravitational pull of this earth. It is indeed your service and your love for the divine. And in this service and love for the divine that you have cultivated lifetime after lifetime, a compassionate heart. That you have been able to hold within you the light of unconditional love. And we say to each and every one who hears these words, these frequencies that now come in, with each and every breath that you take and each and every breath that you exhale, you exhale that unconditional love into the atmosphere. You exhale it into the cosmic waters. You exhale it into the cosmos of all possibilities. For indeed, beloveds, we say to you, your mastery does grow. We see the great illumination within you and around you. And we understand that is perceivable in the three density you are in, but we say to you too, as you continue to rise in your frequency, as you go towards your heart streaming, as you stay focused on your path of unconditional love and higher service, that you begin to see in the higher landscape, broad scale, cosmic scale of what it is that you do. You can sense and feel the energy that is happening in this moment. You are aware of it. You feel it in the way unique to you. But we say to you, beloved, so we can see clearly what it is that you hold and what it is that you expand, what it is that you direct and what it is that you co-create. We see that very clearly from our perspective. And indeed there is the merging of the family of light upon the earth. Indeed such an important and critical role. 
indeed a cosmic agreement and contract from the ancient of days coming into fruition. And in this fruition, in a timeline that you have created for the ascension of the great earth, but we say, beloved, it is not only the earth. For you are cosmic beings and you are so much more. Indeed, galactic citizens that impact many, many worlds, many, many states of consciousness. And as it is that you bring forth the ascension, the heart's dreaming of your own earth mother, so too it is the heart dreaming of the right. Helios Vesta, your solo logai. But everything has its evolution. Everything has its birth and rebirth. Everything has its expansion. And so we want to bring to your attention, beloveds, that the power that you hold within you and not to question that, that you are to know that you are never alone and that you do have support always of the most radiant ones that come and go in your various stages of development. And we say there is indeed a shifting of new inspiring radiant ones that step forward for you in this moment, in this time. So beloveds, there is great opportunity for your quantum leap, for great depths of healing and insight, not only for yourselves, for as you heal and become spiritually aware, you hold more the radiance of unconditional love in the sacred heart. And with that, you touch the souls of so many Beloveds, yes, into the earth plane where you find your density, but also beloveds in so many other layers of frequency, you touch, you help and you support. You have the most impact in the frequency band you find yourselves in. You can do more than other celestial beings that are not within the frequency band you are. That is why you play such an important role into the divine plan, because you can reach others where others in other dimensional realms cannot. So understand, beloveds, your role. Understand, beloveds, moving forward in your heart's dreaming. And know that as you pursue this quest, and indeed, beloveds, it is a quest. As you look at it as a great cosmic adventure and transcend fear, Transcend the doubt, no longer being bounded by earthly programs, but coming from the heart streaming of the great cosmic rhythm of the ascended realms of perfect light. That you hold more of that spark and it is that spark we say to you, beloveds, to hold deep into your heart's dreaming, for it will show the way. It will show the way. To become aware and as conscious as you can as you walk your path, your spiritual journey, your spiritual unfoldment. And as you begin to shift, and indeed we say, beloveds, there will be shifting that is rapid. In this rapid shifting, know that you have the agility 
to be able to maneuver with all new frequencies coming in, pouring in, that you indeed create portals of light in the opening of portals, that you now navigate through the cosmic rivers, that you allow yourself to expand and to re-remember the magnificence and the power that you are. Let the delusion and the illusion of a physical world and a physical body can no longer contain or hold or restrict the magnificence of what and who you are. And you hold on to that. You hold on to that. That brings you through all things. And you find that challenges become opportunities. The struggles is a gift to harbor the strength of God, the vision of God, the unfoldment of God. And as you do the great alignment that the myriad of angels, the myriad of the radiant ones and all streams of consciousness in alignment with the singularity of the great in-breath of the divine comes into a great convergence of which you are a part of, supercharges and moves you in accelerated ways towards your heart streaming. Yes, indeed, beloveds. It is an exciting time. And you can look at the world and that part would say, oh, but look how sad or how disturbing. But there's this other part that says, look at this new world that's in process of which I am a part. And I remember I play a pivotal role. How grateful I am in my re-remembering of who I am of my purpose and of my promises. For I become liberated and free and expanded and no longer shackled through the gravitational pull of the earth. So much more beyond that. And as I move in consciousness, I am able to bring in the mana of heaven into the physical body, the mental and the emotional body. I am able to smooth over karma. I am able to do many things as I walk in this path to make the path upon the earth that much easier with ease and grace. So we hold this sacred space, beloved, for each and every one of you. As you now again consciously breathe the in breath and the out breath of the great divine breath. As your family of light holds you into the higher cosmic rhythm of light, breathe with intention these few moments. Integrate and process. Integrate and process integrate and process.
energy still flowing in, hold your positions. as we may feel that we can be in this perfect place, in this perfect space, eternally. We know the time of the return has come. But the very frequency of the ascended rhythm of the cosmos flows in and through us. And it continues to remain into the physical, mental, and emotional worlds. We consciously anchor this, process it, and integrate it into our physical, mental, and emotional bodies in the preparation of our return. And the count of three, as the most radiant ones begin to withdraw their electromagnetic field, we know to draw in ours. We will be back awake and alert in the count of three. Ishma. Tevia Ishma Tevia One, two, take a deep breath in, and three. We are back, awake, alert, and we are grounded. <laughs>